No, you're going to love this one. A special delivery courtesy of the Nevada Highway Patrol. A local trooper helps bring a baby girl into the world just outside Sunrise Hospital. Happened yesterday morning and today trooper and the new mom are talking about it. The baby wouldn't talk. Don't know why. <laughs> new at 6, News 3's Denise Rosh is live at Sunrise. Denise, you don't speak baby apparently. <laughs> Yeah, no, Jim and Reed and the trooper was here following up on another call when a couple pulled up to his cruiser screaming for help. The woman was about to deliver and that baby girl wasn't about to wait around for anyone. My intention was just to comfort her and hold her hand. At one day old, Bianca Velasquez already knows how to draw a crowd. This is a career that every day is a surprise. Brought into the world by a stranger in a gray and blue uniform, Nevada Highway Patrol Trooper Joseph Delabella, who just happened to be sitting in his patrol car in front of Sunrise Hospital Thursday morning when Brenda Velasquez and her husband pulled up. And I look inside the car and I can see the, the female passenger, his wife, uh, was in a bad way. She's kind of leaning back and I could see the child's head. And before doctors could get outside, Della Bella was covered in blood and holding a newborn. In fact, the trooper had to gently unwrap the umbilical cord from around the baby's neck. He could see immediately she wasn't breathing. The only thing I could think of is just open up its mouth for a clear airway. And I put my index finger in the baby's mouth and I just heard a little gurgle and then the baby started screaming. Today, Della Bella is back at Sunrise Hospital, this time bringing gifts from troopers and dispatch. Velasca says she and baby Bianca will never forget his kindness. She's very grateful to him and she's grateful to God and she's um, hoping that God will bless him, that he will continue to help others like he helped her. And turns out he already has. Back in March, Della Bella and his wife, who is also a state trooper, were off duty when they helped rescue six people from a burning apartment building, pounding on doors, leading residents out. The couple later awarded the department's life-saving medal. I don't know if it's the right place or right time or something greater than that, but I'm okay with that. You know, especially if someone's in a hard, in a bad way, I'm always ready, willing, and able to help. And while the trooper and mom do not speak the same language, clearly in this situation, no words were necessary. Everybody knew what to do. And we also learned today that he will be godfather to baby Bianca. Reporting live, I'm Denise Rosh for News 3. Jim and Reed, let's go back to you in the studio. That is such a fantastic story, every angle of it. Uh, thank you so much for that. And yeah, yeah I guess the universal language of 